Shalom, peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. I had a revelation moment today where the Spirit shared something with me. First, I'm going to quote Book of John, chapter 8, verse 36. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Book of John, chapter 8, verse 36. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Okay. Now, many of us, we go through different changes, through different situations with our friends, with our families, the way we grew up, the way we think, the way we were taught. And our responses sometimes can put weight on us, okay? Can cause us to feel as though we have sinned and we can't get out of this sinful cycle. A lot of us go through depressions. Now I want to read Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, okay? Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, people who have had these same exact experiences. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Okay? And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. All right. Now, I want to talk about that weight. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, the first thing we need to understand is that there are many who have gone before us, many who are among us who have the exact same feelings and experiences that we have. And we just get quiet and think it's something about us, something we did, something wrong with us personally. No. Okay, we have... Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about, we're surrounded with so great a cloud of witnesses, others who can testify the same thing happened to them and is happening to them. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Okay, I'm going to give you a definition of weight. Wait, because we have to learn how to forgive ourselves. We have to learn how to let things go. Okay, wait. Okay, what is a weight? Okay, something that is a compressing feeling, crushing, okay, something that pesters us. It's a burden. It's a load. It creates heaviness, something that causes intimidation. It's a nagging, a urgency, a force, stress, pressure, an influence, a pestering, an insistence, and coercion. Some people will put weight on us. Some of us have been raised in homes where the way we were taught, the way we were treated by family, by brothers and sisters, by aunts, uncles, cousins, we have been taught to take on weights that are not ours to carry. And many people will intimidate us into carrying those weights. When we get upset, we start screaming, we start hollering, we start cursing, we slamming things, we arguing, okay, because we know there's this weight that's being put on us. And then the sin which does so easily beset us now because we got upset because we reacted in a questionable manner now we feel like we sin and now we burden yet again here come another weight a weight from the weight creates a weight from the sin that the weight made us respond with okay so i'm gonna read it again wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses what does that mean others have gone through the same thing others are going through the same thing Okay, but what does the Spirit tell us? Let us lay aside every weight, every weight. What is a weight? Some people, they use persuasion. They use coercion. They become insistent. They keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Maybe you had somebody, a friend, a family member, a child, son, a daughter, brother, or sister, that they went through a financial hardship. During that time, God was blessing you. And you were blessing them by helping pay the bill, by helping buy food, pay their cell phone, whatever it was, okay? And when the time came that they should have taken back their responsibility, they wanted to leave it on you. They used coercion, pressure, demands, intimidation, arguments. You can afford it. I don't know why. Because the weight is not 
yours. It's a burden. There are people who love to put their burdens on you. Let's not make a mistake about it. Sometimes our families, okay, they weren't necessarily treating us the way we should be treated. But because we became used to accepting unacceptable behavior, unacceptable conversations, because that's the way we were raised. It's all we knew. They were consistent in putting weights on us, demands, pressures, intimidations, requirements, okay? And it left us feeling crushed. It left us feeling oppressed. It left us feeling anything but free. But remember, he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Why? Because the word of God tells us you can lay it aside. And that sin, what is the sin? Sometimes our responses because we get upset. We don't want to wait. And in truth, it is not our burden to bear. But people will burden you. They will hold you to things they themselves do not do. If they know you got money. All of a sudden, they, they, they're putting pressures on you about your money. If they know you're living in a certain place, they put pressures on you to live in there. Even though their lifestyle, their conversation, just their presence alone creates disruption in your home. Okay? And you start responding in a way where it's like the old you. Okay? That sin that does easily, so easily besets us. Then we feel bad. Now we're carrying around all these weights and then all this guilt. Okay, you can't turn back time. It's the sin. Now, I'm going to say it again. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which does so easily. This thing easily protects us. We we walking around, we done read the word, we prayed up. Somebody causes us to get upset. And it just kept going and going. Why? Because they brought a weight. They brought a pressure. They brought a demand. Okay. And it, it, it oppressed us. It crushed us. We couldn't feel free. They see you smiling. They want to wipe that smile off your face. They want to tell you about all the wrong you did. They don't want to talk about how you're turning it around and getting it right. It's a weight and a sin. It easily besets us. How is it I was feeling good a minute ago? Now I'm mad. Now I'm sad. Now I'm depressed. Now I'm upset. It's so weight that does so easily beset us, but we have to figure out how we have to let the word of God teach us, tell us it's okay. Lay it aside. Lay it aside. Give it to God. I know people who have become suicidal because things they can't change, things they've done, things that have been done unto them. It's a weight and a sin that does so easily beset us. Okay? Now, it says, lay it aside and let us run with, I'm sorry for coming out of range. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, he's the author and finisher of our faith. He's the author. You know, how you got people want to tell you, look, I know about you, child. I can read you from the front to the back and everything in between. Well, check this. Yeshua, the word of God, is the author. He's the one that can read you. He's the one from the front to the back and everything in between. Why? Now, let me tell you what that does. Let me tell you what that does. So if the sun sets you free, mm, you will be free indeed. Brothers and sisters, we got to forgive ourselves. Okay, sometimes we do things and it weighs us down. Remember the weights. Remember the weights. I'm going back. Hebrews 12, 1. And I'm going, wherefore seeing we also are accomplished about with so great a cloud of witnesses. What does that mean? We got a whole lot of people that went through the same thing. I did. You did. They did. We all did. Even if nobody wants to tell it. Okay. This morning, I'm running around feeling good. Next thing I know, I get a phone call, and I'm like, look, I got to go. I'm doing something. And they were so insistent. Here comes the weight. Here comes that burden. After we made the agreement, after we talked, they really didn't care what I was doing. They wanted to say what they had to say. And even after they said it, they just kept going and going. And then I got peeled. I got pissed. And some people might call it a sin. I got angry and started reading them. And like I told you already. And... Next thing I know is an argument, blah, 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 hang up. All right, now, what happens? Let us lay aside every weight in the sin which does so easily beset us. Then all of a sudden I felt bad. 
I felt bad. And I'm like, my God, how did I go from feeling good to feeling bad? Because of the weights and the sin, which does so easily beset us. This is where the Spirit came in and started ministering to me. Okay? They put a pressure on you. They put a demand on you. Once you told them what you told them and it was agreed upon, they should have got off the phone. Okay, maybe you should have said, I got to go and just hung up. Not even how you should, just hung up. But because they didn't seem to receive the words and they were demanding and pressuring, understand what a weight is. What is a weight? Compressing is crushing. It's oppressing. It's, it's like carrying a mass inside of you. Pressure. It pesters you, influences you. It's a force. It's stress. It's nagging. It's a load. It has urgency. It's compressing. It's coercion, the use of persuasion, intimidation, heaviness, okay? Influence, force, a burden, and it has urgency in it. That weight carries an urgency, brothers and sisters. Then the sin. Then the sin. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, okay? It does it easily, all right? And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, all right? All right? All right? Remember. Sometimes we were raised in homes where everybody don't think like you do. Remember, we are peculiar people. A peculiar people. Okay? The way of the world is not the way of the most high. Okay? And you have to press toward the mark. Okay? You got to press. Why do you have to press? Because there are things that will try to weigh you down. You got to let the sin go. You have to forgive yourself. And forgive others. Does that mean they can come back and manipulate you and do all the things that they've done? No, it doesn't. I said forgive, not forget. Because there's a weight in it. Sometimes our children, different people take advantage of us and they put so much pressure on us. And we're made to feel like we did something wrong. Then we get upset and are in the sin. Okay, because the way that we may handle the situation is not the way... We would have liked to have handled it. Also, brothers and sisters, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. It's a weight. It's a weight and a sin. Lay it aside. Lay it aside. How can we lay it aside? In the book of John, chapter 8, verse 36. So if the Son sets you free, who is the Son? The Word of God. We know he's the word of God. You go in the book of Revelations, and that's just one place. Book of Revelations, chapter 19, it tells you. He is called the Word of God. If the Word of God, so if the Son, the Word of God, sets you free, you will be free indeed. And the Word of God says, lay it aside. Lay it aside. That weight and that sin that does so easily beset us. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Not so they can play the game again. No, no, no. We ain't talking about a fool. We're not talking about a fool. All right. You lay it aside because even that lack of forgiveness is a Wait, that doesn't mean you don't keep them in check in your mind so they don't do it again. Okay, you lay it aside, that weight and that sin that so easily besets us. I felt it this morning, brothers and sisters. And the Spirit brought that revelation knowledge to me. And as soon as I felt that word come in, that heaviness, that weight of that situation, it just flew away. And you can rise in the Spirit. Remember, we go from glory to glory and victory to victory. It's a victory to get that weight off, to get that weight off, okay? To leave that which is behind, behind. And even when the people around you are trying to pull you in, remember, you're free. How do we know? Hmm, I'll tell you, book of John, chapter 8, verse 36. So, if the Son, the Word of God, we talk in life, okay? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall never change, shall never be removed. That's who told you from eternity to eternity. That's who told you eternity is talking to you. Life is talking to you. Truth. How do we know? 
So if the sun sets you free, who is the sun? He said, I am the way. Follow this way. I am the truth. So we know it's true. And I am the life. This thing will bring life into you, brothers and sisters. It will break the power of depression. It will break the power of anger. It will break the power of worry. When people come with those weights and sins, they easily beset us. Remember. So if the Son, the Word of God, the truth, the way, the life sets you free, you will be free indeed. Spirit gave me that revelation word, and my, my whole feeling just turned around. I hope, I pray this word blesses you, because all the gifts from the Spirit are for the building up of the body and for the strengthening of all. So I'm sharing it with you. Somebody needs it. I can feel it. Okay. It's a weight. It's a sin. Lay it aside. You know why you can lay it aside? Because the Son of God, the Word of God, the way, the truth, the life said you can. That's how you know it. You be encouraged. You walk in the light. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. And that's not an easy statement for me because some people do things that I'm like, check. Okay. But I forgave them. I just didn't forget. So we're not going to play that game again. And that's all right. Because who the sun sets free, the word of God, the way, the truth, the life, is free indeed. Remember, book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, others have gone through it. The depressions, the angers, the sorrows, okay? Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Because remember, some people use persuasion, insistence, coercion, demand, intimidation. What does it create? It creates oppression, heaviness, it's a pestering, it's a nagging, it's a load. It creates a burden and it has an influence on how we would behave, how we feel, how we think. Okay, but remember. Son has set you free. The word of God. Lay it aside. Lay it aside, brothers and sisters. Walk in the light. Be in peace. Shalom. Shalom indeed. Lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily besets us. Because he who the Son, he, she who the Son has set free, you are free indeed. Lay aside that weight. And that sin that does so easily beset us. It can come with a statement. It can come with a thought. It easily besets us. But you can lay it aside. Lay it aside. Be at peace. Shalom.